Everyone deserves freedom. Everyone deserves freedom. Everyone deserves freedom. deserves freedom that's the reason we're here I spoke to an activist holding a dead duck on the ground just now. I gave him shade. He said when he was one or two years old, his parents gave him a stuffed duck. He didn't know where we were coming today. He didn't know the animal that we were going to be saving today. Cradling in his arms is Ducky, his little childhood animal. It strikes me, parents go into toy stores and they buy stuffed animals, they buy stuffed pigs, stuffed ducks, they give them to their children, the children play with them. If we could bring all the children into the hell that animals go through every single day. I investigated a pig breeding facility near London, Ontario. I took with me an industry publication called Pigtails Fun Book. Inside that book, they illustrate a field filled with mother pigs with their babies around them, children playing in the grass. It's a black and white ink drawing. The kids could color it in. I took this to the pork council in Canada and asked him, why is industry deceiving the public with the lies about animals and what they endure? Why do people buy stuffed animals for their children? Why aren't they allowed to take them into the big white sheds in the countryside and show them the truth? The lies that industry, the authorities, are trying to show our children is shameful. All of us need to show our friends and family the truth. All of us need to sit inside slaughterhouses in whatever way we can enter them. We need to take our friends outside with the safe movement. We need to bear witness to animals arriving to slaughter. With the safe movement in Toronto, I witnessed a cow. Her udder was massive. It was dripping milk still. She'd obviously just recently given birth. How is this white? Before they hid it from us, we were able to witness fetuses that had been cut from the mother cows dropping down into a truck to be rendered. I describe this to Uber drivers. I describe this to people on the street in front of me who are buying meat, who are buying chicken, who are buying pieces of steak. 
Do you know what I witnessed firsthand? It's really powerful if you, as an activist, can tell people what you personally witnessed. These activists today who are holding these dead bodies, these beautiful beings, will be able to say, I went inside. This is what I witnessed. It makes it really powerful. We all need to bear witness. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, guys. How was everything today? Was it? Say again. How did it go today in comparison to everything else? It was. It was beautiful. It yeah. was powerful. And you know, I think this is putting so much pressure on the system because they can't keep wasting this much money, this much human power to stop compassionate people. Yeah. Did you send the group to come lasso everybody that was left? You knew, knew, about, knew I, about that or had that the idea? The drones are basically telling us what to do. But yeah. yeah, we did send a group over to bring people back. Yeah. Or bring people here. It was like a thing. human lasso. It was really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. Um, All right, so we've been out here for several hours. There's uh, several activists behind me that have chained themselves to the front of this slaughterhouse factory farm. And some of them are holding some deceased ducks, uh, but the people in front of them are sitting and uh, practicing a form of civil disobedience uh, by sitting in front of them and trying to create even more of a barrier and show more support. Um, there are other activists that are shading those activists and bringing them water and food. Um, but we've been here for several hours. What basically happened is we showed up, we were one of the last buses, and our bus was stopped from coming onto the public property. The police were telling us that we were going to be arrested if we were to cross the line. They were calling it a crime scene, and they were saying we were going to be arrested. So many of us stayed back waiting because we believed that we would be arrested. What ended up happening was, while we're waiting there, hundreds of the activists, or at least about a hundred of the activists, that were um, already through, came back with their arms hooked and made a lasso around all of us, of people. We didn't know what was going on, they didn't tell us, they just showed up and they did this. And then they said basically, one, two, three, here we go, and we crossed the line of police together, uh, which was pretty powerful and, and pretty exciting. And the police tell you you may be arrested as you're crossing, they changed it. They said you may be arrested if you cross this line. And we were stuck in the lasso of people, and we were pulled forward to where we are now, which is right to the front of this slaughterhouse, which is technically still public property. And none of us that were lassoed that I know of have been arrested. But we know that there are several that were inside that chained themselves to machinery um, in the slaughterhouse. They will likely be arrested. It's a historic day for the animal liberation movement, and I'm proud to be a part of it. We've all been here for a very long time. It's been a very long, tiring day, but it's worth it. There's music going on behind me. The song he's singing is uh, Liberation, but in Spanish. And all of these people are here for animal liberation. If you think that just one person can't make a difference, think about how many ones it takes to create 700 plus people out here. About 1,200 plus people signed up for the Animal Liberation Conference this year. And there's about 700 from the estimates that I've heard here today in support of animal liberation, in support of uh, the right to rescue animals who are sick and need care. But thank you for watching. And um, if you want to know more information, you can contact me on Instagram at Kylie Gale Garcia or at vegan.coach.kylie. Uh, you can also follow this YouTube channel and subscribe for more videos like this where you will learn more about what's going on in these industries and what's going on in the front lines with activists, animal rights activists. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Living in misery, won't you do something about it? Please do something about it. You say I'm different, so you treat me lesser than.
But you are so wrong about me Yes, you are so wrong about me Cause I'm like you I feel pain, love too I mean you but in a different body There's still life inside my body Let me be free Freedom from your tyranny Yeah. 